Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve error code 0x643, unable to make changes to your software. There is a problem applying changes to the software. You can try again, or if the problem continues, the information that is shown in the following section can assist your help desk in troubleshooting. Click OK to return to Software Center. So should be hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So the first thing I'm going to recommend doing is opening up the search menu. Type in CMD, best match, come back with command prompt, right-click on it, select run as administrator. If you receive user account control prompt, select yes. Now I will have a command in the description of my video, guys. I want you to copy it and then go to the top bar of the command prompt window here, right-click on it, select edit, and then paste it in. And then once that is done, Hopefully that would have resolved the problem in itself. So hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process for you. Something else we can try here as well. If you close out of there and open up the search menu, we're going to go open up a web browser. doesn't matter which one, but I'm going to open up Google Chrome for today's tutorial. So I'm going to search for Net Framework Repair Tool. And one of the best results should be a Microsoft web page here. It says download Microsoft.NET Framework Repair Tool. Go ahead and open that up. And then you want to select the download button. So just go ahead and select download. And once it's done downloading, go ahead and run the setup file. You want to select yes. And you can close out the web browser at this time. You want to agree to the license terms. And you got to scroll through here. And then select next. Select next again. And then once that's done, go ahead and select next. And then finish and then restart your computer. And then once that's done, see if your issue has been resolved at this point. If not, something else we can look into as well. Open up the search menu. Type in Windows Features. Best match will come back with turn Windows Features on or off. Go ahead and open that up. You want to make sure all the Net Framework services have a little blue box next to them, so make sure they're filled in. And then select OK if you had to make any changes. And then select Let Windows Update Down with the files for you. And once that's done, go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. And there you go, guys. So hopefully I was able to resolve your issue. And as always, thank you for watching. Do a buzz, it will help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.